Toronto. It's the World Cup of Hockey 2016, a preliminary round game between Team Sweden and the North Americans. The fans are pumped up for this one. The international stage has been set. The hockey nations have converged for a great tourney, Doc. Opening face-off is just seconds away. And this preliminary round game is underway. On to Daniel Sedin. Simple play, made well, strong defense. Puck loose now picked up. Sweden's carrying on up the wing. Let's it go. Lightning in that glove. Score! Didn't take long for the home team, did it? A horrible angle. He got just enough of the puck, and it ended up beating the goaltender. All that he had left, Enzo, was to try and make an unbelievable glove save. The effort was there. The result's not. Team Sweden's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. We have a winner. Directing that one to Hagelin. North America's in possession and moving up the wing. Collected by Cronwall. Oh, he put it in his own net. It counts against him. Lundqvist presenting himself pretty largely here. However, there's still room for the puck to beat him. The North Americans get it off the faceoff. Gets in. What will he do? Sweden's waiting back in their own end. Can he generate something? He scores! Two straight goals. The goaltender was so worried about the passer, he forgot about the goal score. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. The North Americans have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. Team Sweden's got that one. Now what? Trying to go to Jalmerson. Sweden's in control of the puck in the defensive zone. And he steps across the line. Let's it go. Passing one off now to McKinnon. Propelled to Pareko. Picked up in the attacking zone. He's got him against the glass. Kicked out of the scrum. Scrum over, puck kicked. To Daniel Sedin. Solid defensive position there. The first period has come to an end. We're here in a tight game. Hockey's narrowest lead is what we have here. One goal. Goudreau's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Swedes are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. North America is quick on the draw. Nearly grazed the iron on that. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Ekblad slashed on the play, and he scores! That's three unanswered goals! You want to score goals, you've got to get to this 
area of the ice. Low stick side used to be an area that you shot all the time, but now that the goaltenders are in the butterfly, it's not as easy to beat, but this one goes through them pretty quickly. The North Americans here in the second period have a two-goal lead, and it's a huge lead on the shot board. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Breakaway! Scooped up by Zetterberg. Let's a shot go. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Slid to Ekblad. It's off his pad. Wonderful centering pass, and it's right to him. Elevates a pass to score! A power play goal yet again. Saad's decision to let go a slap shot from there was the right one. Eichel's able to clear open ice and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. Team North America has got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. North America has collected another victory on the faceoff. He's got it in deep. A shot. 37 seconds. And angled to Truba. Shoots one. Score! That one ricocheted off a member of the defense. You could really see this goal coming as a result of the pressure that they had for a long period of time. I think the players on the ice were just out of gas. Lundquist's read of the shot is that it's going to be a lower one. This one beats him up over the shoulder. He's disappointed and hangs his head down. The North Americans have built a whopping lead. Let's see if they can build on it further, maybe even into double digits before the end of the game. We're only in the second period. Snapping a pass to Landeskog. Puck is thrown to Carlson. Team Sweden's got that win. Let's it fly. The offense was strong, but the pad had the answer. Well, the shooter's pretty disappointed, guys. He delivered that puck quickly. It was accurate, yet the goaltender was just better than him on the wrist shot. on that one. North America is in their own end and controlling the play. Two sticks together. It goes to the offense. Pitching it to Miller. Directing that one to Nugent Hopkins. No luck. I don't see too many guys getting away of blocking that shot. That thing had some heat on it. 40 minutes have been played here and still more to go. A well-deserved rest is at hand. Lundquist had a difficult contest, and here is an example of that. For now, he gets a rest, and so do we as we head to break. minutes have been played they are getting ready for the third period here so take us back through the game what do you think Eddie North America's coaching staff doc told us before the game they want to get off to a good start and they have in a lot of areas especially on the scoreboard they are well in control of this game let's see how they play it the last 20 and down to four this has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times but no goals maybe that'll change with this number 23 John Possession established. Good reach there. And possession reestablished by Ekman Larson. Pitching it to Daniel Sedin. 
tries to get it on net. That hits somebody. And that's a good job taking the pressure off. Puck now possessed by Ekman Larson. Directing that one to Carlson. Gains the blue line. Nice work by Daniel Sedin. A whistle and a rest. The Sweets win it. Sent on further, they'll have to return. Scooped up by Nicholas Cronwall. Up the wing, moving along. Backstrom's lost that puck in the offensive zone. He stick-handled himself into submission. And the puck taken hold of by Hedman. Snapping a pass to Steen. Shoots one. Save! Gathered up again by Backstrom. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Gathered up again by Hedman. Gains the zone. And the puck taken over by Kruger. Directing that one to Nugent Hopkins. The North Americans want to generate something up the wing. Puck loose. Good defensive play. Carried to the corner by Gabriel Landeskog. North America is carrying it in their own end. These two began not long ago, and with a lot of effort, they have completed the preliminary round as of right now. Well, that concludes the preliminary round, and what a round it was. We saw a bit of everything, and it's about to get even more intense as we move to single-game elimination. I can't wait, Doc. And so in the shadow of that enormous tower in the heart of Toronto where hockey is king and the world is gathered, for Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emery saying goodnight.